Okay, um, I'm glad to present you uh, Archetype, uh, Archetype JavaScript Framework. Um, it's a client-side web framework uh, entirely in uh, JavaScript. So we just uh, release, uh, released uh, the 0.1.5 uh, uh, version uh, this week. Uh, and uh, I'll present you now. So why using JavaScript frameworks uh, on the left end of the screen? You, you can see uh, JavaScript without using any framework, and uh, it's, uh, it's quite ugly, unreadable, and uh, not, uh, not very cross-browser. So uh, on the right hand, you've got exactly the, uh, exactly, exactly the, 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 same, uh, the same functionality with um, using a prototype framework. Uh, we, uh, we realize on a, on, a, on a prototype framework because it's uh, very efficient. Uh, OK, so we can do this with a lot of uh, examples. Uh, they are all uh, very complicated with uh, raw JavaScript. So uh, why having uh, made a new framework? Uh, there are a lot of uh, Ajax framework. Uh, this diagram, uh, uh, on this diagram you can see uh, exactly uh, why. Uh, prototype uh, improves the language. It, uh, it improves the navigator uh, abstraction. And uh, that's almost everything he did. But it's quite perfect. So uh, Scriptaculous is another uh, well-known uh, framework uh, which uh, helps to do your own widgets, uh, doing uh, something uh, sim uh, sim sympathetic on your, on, uh, on your web page. Dojo, uh, Dojo uh, uh, gives a lot, a lot of widgets. It is very efficient uh, in, in this manner. But uh, we consider that uh, widgets uh, are pre-made, and uh, you have to do your own work on the, the this uh, easily. And uh, you have to can uh, reuse your work uh, when you're changing a project and uh, being agile. So, uh, Archetype uh, provides uh, some, uh, some good functionality. Uh, the first one is uh, when you have uh, a, hudge, uh, a, a hudge JavaScript uh, code on your client side, uh, you start to have a problem with uh, JavaScript file loading. And uh, we've got a total dependency management for a JavaScript file and uh, other files like HTML templates, uh, CSS, Etc. Etc. We provide uh, good tools to structurate your your, your code uh, with uh, something we call uh, the components. We'll see this uh, in the next slide. Uh, an event communication between com components, really uh, easy to use, and uh, uh, an, an, an MVC model uh, to uh, to be quite separated. Uh, we focus on readability and maintainability, so uh, each, uh, each language uh, uh, are split in uh, their own files. Uh, on the ease of development, so uh, we, we try to improve the, the syntax, uh, the syntax, <laughs> don't know, uh, and uh, simplify it as much as possible. Uh, we provide a, a, a convention, conventions over uh, configuration style, so uh, naturally uh, everything is easy, and if you need uh, something uh, uh, that fits your needs exactly, you can configure it in a configuration file, so it's, uh, it's very flexible. Um, basically, uh, uh, we, we introduced uh, new concepts in the language with uh, a kind of a super class uh, which is called component. So um, here's the structure of uh, archetype. Uh, so as said before, we, re we realize on prototype on the a custom event uh, uh, library we with which was made uh, and used uh, Notably on the Apple Store for the iPhone. Uh, 
uh, quite efficient. Uh, we provide some, uh, some good stuff for programming, like a logger, which is uh, really important when you work in JavaScript. Uh, dependency management, said before, uh, on something uh, I didn't speak about, uh, which is a template interpreter. We've got a template on the JavaScript side, uh, no, serv uh, no server involved here. Uh, this is uh, really great on Lightning Fast. And uh, something very, very uh, special, which is a uh, method, bu method builder, uh, which, uh, wi which uh, provides serv services uh, like uh, uh, AOP, we uh, would do in, uh, in Java, for example. So uh, here's the typical uh, here's the typical uh, JavaScript web, web page. You just have uh, a title, and then you just uh, insert the JavaScript, uh, the JavaScript tag uh, for the library. There is nobody. Uh, I don't lie. Uh, you don't need uh, anybody. As, uh, you've got the, the template system uh, loading. Uh, Archetype will uh, will load all uh, all the files needed. Uh, just look at the location and uh, load the uh, load the controller for the page, and um, then uh, the controller will launch uh, everything necessary uh, using the dependency system. So uh, we've got a configurable and uh, transi transitive t dependencies between files. Uh, you've got uh, an example of uh, how uh, dependencies are are made in a in a component. You just say dependencies. Uh, you I need this component, this component, this component, this libraries, uh, this CSS, and uh, this template. It's really simple. It's uh, really natural, and uh, and so so. Um, the development unit is really the component. Uh, we, we often use no more class. Uh, there are two kinds of components, uh, the behavioral components and the graphical components. Uh, the graphical component is used as a, as a widget with uh, the JavaScript code and uh, the loading of uh, templates and the CSS file, uh, like uh, you can see here. Uh, components uh, don't need to know each other. Uh, it's the event system. You just launch an event. It's broadcasting to every component, and uh, if it can, I I then it it's be cash, uh, catch catched by uh, all the components interested, and uh, really easy to use, and provides a, a real split between uh, layers, etc. Three, langua three, three languages to define a web int interface, H HTML, CSS, JavaScript for behavior. So uh, we keep it separate as much as possible. This is uh, the best practice. Uh, archetype uh, components encourages good practices. So uh, you've seen. Uh, unique mechanism in, mecha me in JavaScript. Uh, this is method builders. I've explained a bit. There is uh, some examples here. Uh, the create date is a, is a private function. Convention underscore private function. This function is empty. Uh, it uh, just fires uh, uh, an update event. You don't have to define it. Uh, uh, archetype, archetype will do this. And date update is a uh, is a uh, is a um, callback uh, which will be called uh, when a, a date update uh, will be sent. It has not to be uh, sent by this component particularly. Um, whoa. Uh, kind of weird. Uh, so this is the structure of uh, of uh, an application using archetype. Uh, there's some problem here, but uh, don't know why. It's perfect on my PC. Um, so uh, here you've got uh, static files, uh, typically uh, HTML templates, CSS files, uh, JavaScript files, 
here you have um, your uh, your server application uh, and the uh, Najax interface will do uh, the job to uh, to do the the web remoting and uh, the, the this is really a transport layer to do uh, all you need uh, which is din dynamic on y on the front side. So Archetype Core will uh, will call uh, will uh, will uh, load everything needed in um, in static files. You can use libraries like script across the jour, uh, whatever you want. And then uh, you made your components, uh, uh, graphical components, with a mod, uh, which uses the model view contro uh, controller uh, system. Uh, the, the model is, uh, is uh, brought by uh, the AJAX interface. And uh, the controllers just, uh, just uh, see the everything, uh, everything needed uh, to do a, a real middle on, uh, on your front side. So uh, now I, I will see you a bit of uh, an application with archetype. Uh, typically, this, this presentation is made with archetype. So so here is uh, the page the defined in the browser. Uh, uh, and uh, a little bit of code. Hope. Uh, here's the page controller. It does almost nothing. Uh, display. Uh, it does almost nothing. Just loading uh, a component. It tells me. It, it tells the uh, archetype launch me this this component. Uh, and the archetype will do the rest. This is the container component. So the, com the container is here. The, con the container itself is a graphical component. So it extends archetype component, graphical components. You can do your own graphical components. Uh, it has a it has a main template, uh, which is rendered by default. Uh, you don't have to, to say it uh, particularly. It's uh, in the render fu function uh, of, the, of the graphical component. So uh, basically, uh, when you, you have uh, a simple, a really simple uh, uh, graphical component, it will, uh, you will just have to do a uh, your own stuff, not uh, not the generic uh, things. Here, uh, this is uh, we're using uh, a bit the logger. Uh, the logger would be uh, available if I w if I have a, a firebug in uh, in Firefox. It's a really good uh, really good debugger, uh, really good extension. Use it. Um, so the logger. Uh, Tells wha what uh, the controller does. Uh, I tell it when to render. Uh, it's the render function is not defined. It's defined in the graphical component. Um, and uh, it, it instantiates uh, so, uh, some of the other components uh, needed. All the components uh, needed to, uh, to to launch this presentation. It could have been uh, made uh, only with uh, with uh, archetype uh, require component from the uh, from from the page controller, uh, but uh, it was made like this. So it's not the way. Um, here is uh, here is some uh, basic uh, basic um, basic components. Uh, no graphic here. Uh, its aim is just to handle uh, the keyboard events and the, uh, the click events. There are uh, two little uh, arrow to change slide. And uh, one, so, uh, one thing is interesting is that it's uh, that uh, uh, I've uh, anticipated to, to do some uh, some go to first slide, uh, go to last slide, go to uh, end slide, and uh, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't uh, wire them in, a, in, any other, in any other controller, but 
anyway, it could it, it could have been sent and just not catched. It's, uh, that's the magic of uh, of the components. Uh, slide counter, slide counter could have been a graphical component, but uh, the template was ridiculously uh, simple. So uh, it's using a uh, it's using uh, simply uh, adding some uh, some uh, ah we're here. So uh, if you're interested in uh, using it or uh, uh, contributing, uh, I'm uh, I'm here and uh, available for your questions. Thank you.